let's look at one example where the permutation number comes up in a natural setting. We have a 12-person theater group, and this group must select a director, music coordinator, and a business manager. In how many ways can this can be done? Okay, so essentially what we have here, again, is a slot filling problem. We have three slots, and the slots are labeled director, music coordinator, and business manager. Okay, and basically we just need to determine the number of ways to fill the slots. Okay, so if we we're assuming that uh, one person does no more than one job, so that gives us 12 possibilities for the first slot, 11 for the second slot, and 10 for the third slot. And so basically what we're doing here is just choosing three objects from the 12 given originally and arranging them in a row. And that is the permutation number. So 12 times 11 times 10, this is P123. And the answer is 1,320. Okay, now I'd like to show you on your calculator how to get that permutation number quickly. On my little Casio here, there's a button here, actually the second function on this button, says NPR. Okay, and that indicates that we need to enter N here first, and then press that button, and then enter R, and then press equal. So to do 12-3, P-12-3, we go 12, and then NPR, and we get that funny looking P there, and then the 3, and then finally equals, and that gives us the same answer that we got computing it by hand. Okay, it might be a little different on your calculator. That's basically how you do it.